Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Majestic. May I help you? Lionel Spaulding and Neil. Welcome to the Majestic, Mr. Spaulding, Neil. Thank you, woman singing opera sings in German. This is the air shaft to basement. Do you read me? I read you. What's your 20? I'm in position. Found our target. He's picking on per Artie. Artie, I don't care how long you've been at this hotel. You must smile when you greet the guests. You should see this lady who checked in. She weighs about a thousand pounds. That's a physical impossibility. And stay focused. We're on a mission. Sorry. 10-4. One more time like this and cut. Okay, go. Is he on the mark? Not yet, Kyle. What's he doing? Not yet. Woman sings on slash dog growls and yaps. Now. 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 No. A-R-H. 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 Arg. Uh-oh. Air shaft to basement. We have a problem. What? We host some guests. Abort mission. Repeat. Abort mission. Neil. I am coming, baby. Neil. Better get out of here till things cool down. Gotcha. Whoa. Mr. Grant, you might want to step out here a moment. Hey, Murray. Hey, boys. Kyle, slow down. What the? Wait a minute. Brian. Kyle. Better split up, Kyle. What? Arg. Whoa. Arg. Get your hands off me. Well, isn't this a pleasant way to start the day? His name is Neil. After Neil Armstrong, baby talk, the first man on the moon. Yes, he was. And he's very, very sensitive. Yes, well, I can see that just from looking into his eyes. I just hope he hasn't suffered any severe trauma. Ahem, Mr. Grant, yes, thank you, Nancy. Dr. Sultanov, he's one of the finest pet psychologists in the city. Please mention my name, and I'm sure he'll see Neil right away. Well, thank you, Mr. Grant. Say thank you to Mr. Grant. Yaps, HMM. We were aiming for Norm, Dad. He stole our frisbee. No, he did not steal your frisbee. He dug it out of the smoked salmon where you threw it. We didn't mean to soak any guests. MMHM. Kyle, would you hold this? A tabloid. Would you mind putting it in right about here? Dad, no, no. I insist. Brian, you too. Bernard, can I have another knife? Push it in and start carving. You might as well. Because if this week doesn't go perfectly and I mean perfectly and if you two do anything to foul up the crystal ball, I am going to be skewered, roasted, and served as dead dot flamb. So unless you two prefer moving from a five-star hotel to a trailer park, we will have no further disturbances. Do you understand? We're sorry, Dad. Now, next week, after this is all over, we get to go on vacation. Yes. Barbados for ten days, just the three of us. Yes. And we get to be the guests. And we will nag, and we will complain, and we will make other people's lives miserable. Yes. But until that time, you're both grounded. What? What? Come on, guys. Let's go. Dinner. Hey, I was up to 400 bucks. Where's your brother? Barbados. Kyle, what are you doing? Practicing. I figure we need spear guns for sharks. Wouldn't that be cool if we got to shoot a shark? For everyone but the shark, will the hotel have spear guns? We can ask the concierge when we get there. Don't you like your steak? It's okay. Okay. That's the finest filet in the city. Well, maybe we should cook for ourselves one night. Why? We have a five-star restaurant at our beck and call. What if our plane crashes and we're stranded in the jungle and we need spear guns to shoot our food but we don't know how to cook it? You think the same way your mother did? Did I ever tell you that before? Is that good? Well, it was never boring, speaking French, if you gotta be grounded, a five-star hotel is the place to be. So if you'd like extra towels or ice, speaks French, enjoy your stay, small whimper, knock knock, knock 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 knock, terribly sorry. It slipped out of my hand. I heard some. And also a goofball, and a wing nut, and a knucklehead next to the tron. What's going on here? But most of all, I'm... Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy.
I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher.